Hi, I'm Tim Craig of Boulder Creek Outfitters. Um, we've been in business 39 years now here operating in Idaho and Nevada. Yeah, the ranch we hunt here uh, is 53,000 deeded acres and it's one of the largest uh, private properties in the state of Idaho. And uh, we hunt all species on there, you know, uh, elk, uh, mule deer, whitetail, mountain lion, and bear. So we have a large piece of property that uh, is, is just a lot of game. It all, they all break into the, either the Salmon River, uh, the properties are into the Snake River. And uh, so it's all going to go from timber highlands all the way to the top of the mountain, all the way into wide open mule deer country on the bottom. I'm Keith from Minnesota. I'm the winner of the Buck Knives 50th Anniversary 110 Sweepstakes. Most of my deer hunting has been in Minnesota and this Idaho hunt is a little different than uh, Minnesota hunting in many ways. <laughs> well, here at Boulder Creek we, do, uh, we don't do a lot of tree stand hunting on fur whitetails. Uh, we just got too much country to cover and too much country to see so our, our, our first tactic in the morning is going to be to cover ground. and and locate our deer, see our deer, uh, set up, you know, a spot and stock, what we like to do. And there's been not very many places in the country that you can actually spot and stock whitetails, but this is a really unique ranch and we do it all the time. Very successful at it. Um, we'll set up on them, you know, get, that way you can see the deer you're gonna hunt before you actually gonna uh, you know, shoot at it. And uh, it it's really makes it a lot exciting. It's kind of like when you, well, you hunt mule deer, basically, but we hunt whitetails that way. So we just get out in the morning and cover a lot of ground and, uh, and, and locate and then set up on them. I'm Seth and I'm a guide with Boulder Creek Outfitters. And it started off pretty slow, very, you know, a few does here and there. Um, just kind of checking where we had seen some bucks previously. We were on our way back to lunch and we were coming up a draw and right there on our right, 70 yards, stands this deep, really nice shooter, really nice. Um, and he just, he just wouldn't hold still. He just, you know, it was one thing after another. He just, you know, was with a doe, so she was moving, he was moving, and uh, just, you know, we, you know, we couldn't get him in frame, couldn't get a shot. And it was, uh, it was really exciting. It was really cool to go after that. So day three started. Uh, we went to where we thought the big buck was. Um, turned up nothing. It, it was really slow. You know, a couple does in the draw. Just nothing, nothing couldn't turn up anything uh, and turned the corner and it was like flipping a switch there was deer everywhere I mean we seen probably 50 deer in our in our one morning I mean we come around the corner there's there's fork and horn standing in the road and you know I mean four bucks chasing one doe and I mean stuff everywhere it was a great morning of hunting and just nothing within range nothing nothing that we could really get on we've also seen uh, quite a few mule deer uh, we had one small buck, little deer, that uh, was keeping a bunch of does uh, from crossing a fence and we got to watch that. That was, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. This morning four started, it was really cold, uh, a little breezy, but I had seen these does in this spot the night before and it was really promising. So I took Keith there, I'd set him up in this hawthorn bush and this thing had some mean thorns. It was good motivation not to move at all. A little after we got some shooting light, uh, we, heard, uh, we heard a doe off in the distance. Yeah. Hour or so goes by and a little bit of rattling and a uh, buck came out 85 yards. Good. Can't beat that at all. Got a nice shot in. And uh, we went down and very happy with the deer. This is the result of the end of three and a half days of hunting. Pretty happy with that. We got pretty symmetrical wreck. Special thanks then to Buck Knives for the contest and the opportunity to come here. Again, I'd just like to emphasize that uh, the outfitter, the people here, the personnel here uh, at Boulder Creek Outfitters have, have done a really great job and have uh, shown us a spectacular time. <laughs>